Hello everyone, how are y'all doing? Well, I am doing great because I have another book to share with you guys. The author is O Rats by Tor Seedler. So, the, yeah, this book must look crazy to you guys because there's basically a squirrel falling from the sky. Okay, so the title covers one reason why I did pick this book to read because I just love books about, you know, humor and especially cute little animals. So this book was perfect for me to read. And I enjoyed reading this book so much because the main character, aka a squirrel, goes through so many adventures. So just stay tuned if you want to find out more about this squirrel-tastic book. Welcome back friends, so the main character in this book is a squirrel and his name is Phoenix and he has always been lucky because he, he is the largest in his litter, he has the most luscious fur and he is the most sought after squirrel in his part of New Jersey. Well that makes his kidnapping by a hawk seem all the more unlucky. Let me explain. So it all started when Phoenix was admiring his beautiful reflection in a wonderful lake and then he got too carried away because he wasn't aware of, sur of his surroundings. So then this huge ginormous hawk comes down and takes Phoenix away. At that moment, Phoenix was also with this other squirrel and she was in shock because she just saw her best friend being taken away by an a big hawk so luckily the hawk didn't have the best grip but unluckily the hawk drops phoenix from quite a height onto a freshly tarred street in downtown manhattan yes that must sound very painful and trust me it was so for phoenix that was so painful because the um tar had gotten all in his eyes and his whole body was burning hot so that's why his beautiful golden brown fur um all turned ugly and now he looks like a common sewer rat enormously unlucky so like i said the tar had gotten all in phoenix's eyes and he couldn't see anything so he kept on bumping into everything nearby but eventually he finally made it over to the dock and he jumped into the water to cool off which felt much better than before but then the currents picked up very fast Luckily, there were these two rats who saved Phoenix's life. Their names were Lucy and Beckett. So um, the two rats took the unconscious Phoenix over to their place, which was this old abandoned pier. And what was really cool is that there were these a bunch of crates, which are actually the um, rats' little rooms. So many things do happen um, over many funny things do happen over at the pier when phoenix arrives which i will leave that for you guys to read for yourself because i want you guys to enjoy this book as much as i did so also um later on in the book the rats find out that the humans are planning to tear down their beloved pier and turn it into a tennis complex well, now Phoenix really, really wants to help the rats because they had done so much for him. So he wanted to give something back to them. So that's why, since squirrels are such good climbers, the rats used Phoenix's help to climb on top of this huge building. Yeah, you guys might be wondering, why in the world did Phoenix have to climb onto this building? Well, how about you read this book and find out for yourself? Also, the rats and a squirrel, I guess I could say, they, um, they do the craziest thing to the entire city. They make the power go out. You guys may be very curious right now. Like, you guys may be wondering, well, how in the world did they make the power go out? Well, how about you? I think you guys should definitely read this book. I highly recommend it. You will really, really enjoy um, this book a lot. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed this book review, and if you did, then please, please subscribe to my channel, and thank you very much for watching all my videos on NP Station. And that was the last of my book review, so stay tuned on NP Station, because I'll be right back with another awesome book to review.
Thank you.